Hello my lovelies. So, I was having a recent tidy of my wardrobe and I realised that I really don't have very many jackets. And then I saw this picture of Marilyn Monroe and I started looking at these 1940s, early sort of 1950s vintage sewing patterns or the pictures of the lovely ladies on the front. And I thought, I really need one of these jackets. Sort of French workwear, vintage French workwear, sort of swing coat, 1940s-ish, 1950s-ish swing coat. I made one and I didn't just make one, I actually made the pattern, graded it into three sizes and have made it available on my Patreon as a pattern that you can download and make for yourself. So I just wanted to introduce you to the June Bug Duster Jacket and just show you all the lovely little things or I think they're really lovely and I really hope that you will think they're lovely too. Um, so I have the June Bug here. I am going to put the June Bug on despite the fact that it's a, a very, very, very warm day here in my little attic, sewing attic attic in my cottage by the sea so I'll also insert some footage so as you can see from the inspiration board this jacket is inspired by Marilyn Monroe when is she not an inspiration to me to be honest 1940s and early 50s sewing patterns and vintage French workwear which is incredibly expensive if you ever see it in the shops it's a huge amount of money to buy I chose to use this sort of medium weight lilac lavender, I don't know what colour you'd call it, chambray, because it's not really a colour I normally wear, but I love it now that I've got it. And we have these huge cuffs, and I've done mine, so you can wear them, I'm really selling it here, you can wear them down, and I've got a contrast fabric because I didn't actually buy myself quite enough. You really need about 2.25 metres, two and a half metres of um, a 145, 150 centimetre wide fabric. And on the cuffs and also on the pochettes because there are patch pockets, I have done this sort of um, faux trapunto. Those of you who've hung out with me for quite a long time know that I'm a little bit obsessed with Italian quilting, trapunto, and I really love the sort of the quilted and patchwork things that I see people making. So even though I'm very inspired by vintage pieces, I do really love the style of a lot of maybe more modern dresses. It's just not something I would wear. So what I wanted to do was add in, and you've got these sort of shaped, sort of inspired by shells, sort of, cuff, and also the um, collar has got this shaping so that it just adds a little pizzazz to the collar. And what I was saying was that I really love what the, uh, what the modern kids are doing. They're not just kids, but you know, it's always important though, if you like a trend or a fashion or whatever it is, I'm not really, you know, I like clothes, I'm not really sort of looking at trends or want to be fashionable. It's not really something that I consider, but it's really interesting to see if there's a way that you can incorporate it into your wardrobe. You know, when you see people making these really cool quilted and patchwork pieces of clothing, um, and this is how I've interpreted it in a way that um, suits my unique or my personal style, let's say. Uh, I wouldn't want to proclaim that I'm truly unique because I probably am not. So we have those and then on the pockets, big patch pockets again with the um, decorative stitching, the faux trapunto and it's a very sort of swingy oversized shape. There are three sizes available. I have possibly been a bit pretentious and called them not small, medium and large but bijou, moyenne and généreuse because I really want to try and get away from the stigma of you know sizing and things being extra large or oversized or whatever. You're the size that you are and that is a fact and that is it and there's no such thing as oversize. There is 
or undersize or whatever it is there is the perfect size that you are and that is the size that you are so that's kind of my reasoning um as to the sizing and obviously the um there's all the information about that so you can find the june bug duster jacket pattern over at Tara School of Dressmaking, which is my Patreon um, home for my sewing school. And we have a huge amount of fun there on our sewing adventures. It's available for my Icon and Diva tiers. So that's my three and four tiers. So the Diva tier is £12.50. And for that, you get a project and this is the bonus project for the month of June which is my birthday month and which is why this is called June bug and also it's Marilyn Monroe's birthday month and she's another June bug so all of us June babies are June bugs and we need to be wearing our June bug duster jacket. I'm already thinking about other versions that I want to make and I'm really thinking about a lovely black twill version. I might show my patrons how to lengthen this and make a slightly different version and then a while ago one of the little bonus projects was a heart pocket template and I might make my June bug a sweetheart June bug jacket we shall see I've got so many ideas um it's absolutely redonkulous and I think that even though this is see I keep popping the collar because like why wouldn't you even though this is a vintage inspired garment it's actually got loads of scope to be made to look very modern and to fit into a wide and diverse range of styles so I hope you don't mind that I've been sharing one of my newest makes with you today and um, I hope you head on over to Patreon the link is below have a little look to see what goes on there if you want to join us we would all really love to have you there but you know you don't have to there's no pressure i just like to share what i'm doing and if you want to come along and join me for the adventure that's lovely but i'm very very grateful for all your support here on youtube anyway and you know that is enough but if you want to make one that's where you can go the pattern also comes with a full video tutorial and a downloadable pdf step-by-step -step written guide as well so you know with all of those things hopefully you can make yourself a fabulous version and uh, you can be posing like like this because uh, I don't really know how to pose but that's why I, I need to go and hail some cabs we don't really have cabs that you can hail in Hastings but I feel I need to go and do that with these sleeves Thank you so much for hanging out with me in my little cottage by the sea. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are keeping safe and well. And I will be sewing in the next video. So come and join me for that. If you aren't subscribed, then please feel free to subscribe. It's really lovely to have you along for my sewing adventures. And together, all of us are helping to make the world a better place, one little stitch at a time. I'll see you soon, my lovelies. Take care. Bye.